Why do people love? Have you ever wondered why over 1 billion people love Muhammad? People do not love hate, they fall in love with beauty. What is beauty? What is love? Love is a man who gives all his wealth away, so the needy may have their fill. Love is a man who frees a slave, only for the slave to say, I would rather be your slave than a free man. Love is a king who sleeps on a straw bed, he wakes and marks are visible on his body. His followers cry, O oh my king, why do you pain yourself so? The king smiles. My life in this world is to bring comfort to others. What do I care for marks on my body? This king is pelted with stones, so much that blood runs down his face. He is poisoned so much that the poison begins to take away his life. He is persecuted so much that death often stares him in the face. When those who are responsible are brought before him for punishment, he says, I have no enemy. I may be an orphan, but I am humanity's father and mother. Forgive my children, for they do not know what they do. Those who set out to kill him are captured by one look at that shining face. With sword in hand they set out, not once, not twice, but thrice. But when they see that charming face, they exclaim, We have not the power to injure that which we love. His dear wife departs this world under the persecution of his enemies. His daughter, carrying her unborn child, is not spared. Habar the fiend attacks her. The child is lost, the mother too. Yet when Habar is brought before Muhammad, Habar asks, Do you forgive me, the killer of your daughter? Muhammad replies, You too are my son and are forgiven. Those who were once barbarians, beaters of women, drunkards and debauchees place their lives in his hands. He transforms them from drunkenness and debauchery to sobriety and piety. Barbarians are transformed into champions of peace. Beaters of women would now shed tears in remembrance of their crimes, begging for forgiveness. Human history has never seen such a complete transformation of a society either before or since. They say he married many wives and accuse him of unmentionable crimes. Yet do they not see that he spent most of the night away from the bed of his wife, shedding tears of love in remembrance of his beloved? Do they not see who he married? The widows who lost their husbands due to the persecution his followers suffered, the freed slave who no one would regard as an equal, the divorcees tainted by society, the Jewess with the marked face, so that his followers may understand that marriage should not be for the beauty that the eye see, but marriage should be for the beauty that the heart sees. Do you not see what he taught his followers? That you should not marry for beauty, wealth or honour, because the most honourable in the sight of God is he who is most good. His humility was such that it would melt the hearts of the enemies. Despite being the king, the emperor, when people enter his presence, they mistake one of his followers for the king, for he wore no special clothes, and he sat in no special place. You say he lusted after power, wealth and women, but do you not see that when the people offered him kingship, money and the most beautiful women, he would boldly declare, You may give me the sun and the moon, but I will never stop speaking that which is true. Do you not ponder? Do you not realize? Do you not think? Why is it that people followed him? He offered them no power, no wealth, no honor. He would declare, I have nothing to offer you, except that you will lose the honor you have in society. You will lose the power you have and become the lowliest of society. You will lose your wealth to become the poorest. You will lose your fathers, sons and brothers. But will you follow me? They would cry, we may lose our lives, our freedom, our wealth, honor and families, but we can never be separated from you. Is this not love? Hate was a reaction shown by his enemies who hunted, tortured, abused, brutalized this small band of men. He was the one commissioned to end barbarism. He was the one appointed to free the slaves. He was the one sent to end the oppression of women. Why is it that you hate what I love? They say love is blind. But I say it is hatred that takes away the power to see. The West must begin to understand, to investigate what is it 
that draws the hearts of billions towards one man. It cannot be the sword. The power of the sword dies with the sword. It is beauty. True beauty is timeless. It is not restricted by boundaries or fashions and fads. It endures and has the power to capture the hearts. It was this sparkling beauty that captured the heart of Muhammad's first follower, his wife Khatija, who more than all others understood that beauty is Muhammad.